I went to, and it is about a dog food recall. I must be the recall queen of, of the universe. <laughs> I haven't seen any other videos where they're recalling stuff. Anyway, this has to do with pet food, and I'm going to get through it. Hold on. Let me get a sip of coffee. It does, you know, coffee helps open your bronchial tubes. That's why they recommend giving your asthmatic child a half a cup of coffee every morning before they go to school or whatever they're doing. Okay. You see my baby on there? That's my baby. No, he's not my baby. He's he's in he's in the care of Jesus now. And I put that message on there that somebody got when y'all prayed for me when he died. Somebody asked a friend to pray. And she got a message from the Lord for me. And many of you may remember this. I had it put on a mug to remind me. And it says, remember, Jesus said, he's with me now. This is kind of shortened so I could get it all in the mug. He's having a ball running with all the animals. No leash. With kitties, even lions. And I had told him a few days before I had to put him down that he was going to be running with other dogs, kitties, even maybe lions. And that's, I know that's why the Lord told her that. And so I said, thank you, Jesus, for that message. He was so precious. Okay. Back to this dog food recall. We don't want any of your pets to die. FDA alert. Certain lots of pet food from multiple brands recalled for aflatoxin. That's a type of mold. The FDA is alerting pet owners and veterinary professionals about certain pet food products manufactured by Sunshine Mills under several brand names that may contain unsafe levels of aflatoxin. This is an expansion of a previously announced recall. Aflatoxin is a toxin produced by the mold Aspergillus flavus, which can grow on corn and other grains used as ingredients in pet food. At high levels, aflatoxin can cause illness and death in pets. Pets experiencing aflatoxin poisoning may have symptoms such as sluggishness, loss of appetite, vomiting, jaundice, which is a yellowish tint to the eyes or gums due to liver damage and or diarrhea. In severe cases, the toxicity can be fatal. In some cases, pets may suffer liver damage, but not show any symptoms. Pet owners should stop feeding their pets the recalled products listed below 
and consult their veterinarian, especially if the pet is showing signs of illness. I would get my pet checked for liver damage, even if he had no signs, if I've been feeding him any of these foods. The FDA is asking veterinarians who sus suspect aflatoxin poisoning in their patients to report the cases through the safety reporting portal or by calling their local FDA consumer complaint coordinators and there, there are links here but see I don't have a link this is an email I get from Dr. Jones so if you want these links I'll, uh, let's see how can I do this FDA oh asking veterinarians who suspect aflatoxin okay pet owners can also report suspected cases to the FDA I am certain that you can google or search for F phone number for FDA the US Food and Drug Administration is expanding a dog food recall of certain products from multiple brands that may contain an unsafe level of toxin called aflatoxin aflatoxin is a byproduct of a type of mold aspergillus flavus that can grow on grains commonly used in pet food which is why I always did go grain free with Buddy because of the pesticides on the grains especially corn when pets consume too much aflatoxin it can cause sickness and in some severe cases long-term liver issues and or death well, where's give me the list of foods for heaven's sakes a subsequent FDA investigation traced the products back to a single load of corn containing high levels of aflatoxin that was used as an ingredient in products manufactured from April 3rd to April 5th 2020 and distributed to retailers nationwide on October 8 Sunshine Mills expanded the dog food wrote recalled to other products made with that load of corn adding multiple lots of 21 additional products from 15 more brands including two cat food products what should you do if you own one of the recalled products stop feeding it to your pet how about giving us the list throw it away and consult maybe it's lower down especially if your pet is showing signs of aflatoxin poisoning Symptoms of aflatoxin poisoning may include sluggishness, diarrhea, loss of appetite, vomiting, and jaundice. Yellowing of the eyes or gum. Oh, let me see. All right. We're going down. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to copy and paste. I believe. Let's see if I. Oh, my gosh, Lord. Seriously. This is a lot of food. He says, P.S. In general, these are relatively poor quality foods that you should not be feeding. Yeah. Dogs should not be on any food with corn in it. And I realize that m many people want a pet and they're not, they don't have a lot of money. I understand that issue, but that was one of the places where I was not willing to save money I make my dogs do beef 
stew and it comes out cheaper than um, a decent quality canned dog food and it lasts all month I get five containers they're square about five inch square containers out of one crock pot it cost me about $25 to make with two packages of stew beef carrots and peas and sweet potatoes I'm putting sweet potatoes this time instead of rice because he's been kind of iffy on eating it lately so I thought sweet potatoes the sweet potatoes will give it a little sweetness okay and it's okay for dogs that's his supper anyway Jasper what did I tell you woof 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 no woof woof no you're supposed to go woof woof that's right try it again woof I hear you I hear you but nobody knocked they're not here Jasper they might be in the hall but they're not here so you don't have to bark like that just go woof see then he starts going woof <laughs> all right I am going to attempt let's see all right <laughs> this is a very long list here <laughs> Okay, on September 2nd, 2020, Sunshine Mill announced a recall of 12 total lots from six of the firm's pet products shortly after FDA. You know what? It might be better for each individual person that feeds your dog. Okay, I, I will tell you the names that they're giving. If it says Sunshine Mills on it, call the FDA. They can help you. Family Pet Meaty Cuts Beef Chicken and Cheese Premium Dog Food, 4 pounds. Okay? I never heard of that. Family Pet Meaty Cuts Beef Chicken and Cheese Premium Dog Food, 14 pounds. Family Pet Meaty Cuts Beef Chicken and Cheese Premium Dog Food, 28 pounds. Heartland Farms Grilled Favorites Beef Chicken and Cheese Flavored Dog Food. Heartland Farms Grilled Favorite Beef Chicken and Cheese Flavored Dog Food, 31 pounds. Paws, P-A-W-S. Happy Life Butcher's Choice Dog Food, 16 pounds. On October 8, 2020, Sunshine Mills expanded the recall to include the following products. Champ Mini Chunk Dog Food Beef and Chicken Flavor, 12-pound bags. Field Trial Complete Nutrition Premium Dog Food. 16 pound bags good dog brand dog food high energy formula 50 pound bags that's good dog brand good dog brand dog food all right and then there's hunter's special dog food high energy formula 50 pound bags Hunter Special Dog Food Maintenance Formula, 50 pound bags. Hunter Special Farm and Ranch Recipe Super Chunks Dog Food, 50 pound bags. Old Glory Hearty Beef and Chicken Flavor Dog Food, 4 pound bags. I've heard of Old Glory. Old Glory. Hearty beef and chicken flavored dog food, 12.75 pound bags.
Paws, happy life, nutritionally complete dog food, pet expert. That's 17 bag, 17 pound bag. There's a whole bunch more. I'll, I think I can get these in the description box. Okay, and I, I wish I had a link. I could put, um, well, I'll put the link to these suspected cases to the, where you report suspected cases to the FDA. Okay? All right. So with that, I'm going to say bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to you later.